Hello there guys, welcome back to another video. Yes, I promised you more and here I am. <laughs> uh, today I wanted to talk about the Bobcat tent, Bobcat 1 by OEX. Um, I actually thought these tents were exclusive to go outdoors, but I see them for sale elsewhere. Which is why I got it for £49. Um, you can generally find them for under £60. Um, I think the RRP is about £100, but whatever the case, it's a very good value tent. I was originally interested in these because uh, various people, everyone I knew seemed to be getting them. Mark, um, MDM Outdoors, he's been using one for a little while, took it on our e-bike trip. Um, my friend Owen from Albion Outdoors, um, he got one, I saw Paul Messner with one on his channel. They just seem to be popping up everywhere and after seeing Mark's I was just, I have to get one, I have to get one and see what the fuss is all about. Um, so I've used this twice now, as you can see it packs very easily, it's got one of them uh, generous stuff sacks which is always good to see i hate trying to stuff things into these tiny bags um yeah so uh, i'll get it out we'll get it set up it's a pretty quick setup which is another attribute to it and have a little look at it you got handy instructions inside the stuff sack as well not that this is a hard tent to put up got the outer the inner the poles and the uh, pegs there as well uh, I think you can probably leave the inner in, which I might actually try at the end of this video. I think I actually said poles then, it's of course one pole, it's like a blade style setup, but uh, in a different orientation to how I've normally seen sort of blade tents. A simple shepherd crook style uh, pegs. A lot of stones here. <laughs> Come on. Okay, you're going to thread the uh, pole through, that's our ridge. Now we're going to put the pole into the holes on both ends. This is the tricky part because OEX tents are pretty notorious for having tight fits with their poles. So, there we go, it wasn't too bad to be honest. I know that Mark on his has actually cut his pole down a slight bit. Um, maybe mine is just better than his in that respect, I don't know. That wasn't too bad. And I could just readjust these just to tension everything up properly. Right now I've got five pegs in each corner and one in the middle of the back here. Um, there's an extra point on here with a line on and tensioner uh, and that just gives you a little more space inside by pulling that out as you can see. You could attach it to a tree, to a pole to bring it right out or just into the ground with another peg. Look at these tensioners, super simple, but work. On the top here you've got your awning, or porch, whatever you want to call it. Uh, when I first put mine up, this was hooked over the uh, pole. <laughs> it took me a minute to realise why it wasn't coming out as far as I remember. But this is just two more poles to put them out. Pegs. <laughs> hard for me to show me doing it but there's hooks on the corners of the inner which hook onto the corners of the outer pretty simple and then you've got toggles and loops to put the inner in like so and if you wish you can peg out the little porch liner here the ground sheet so you've got a dry area or you can roll it back which is handy for using it to cook under and stuff now after doing all that I've got five spare pegs. Now you've got tie outs on either side, two of them either side. If you're in a windier area you can put them down diagonally and of course a spare as well. Now your outer door you unzip and put it into one corner or if I do this up you can undo the top to either just look out most of it's covered by this porch area or just for ventilation if you wanted to open it up to here or something which is what I did when I used it last. 
with the inner unzipped you can see inside here um, I'm not a perfect pitch here because of the unevenness of the ground but plenty of room for one now I use my um, Topo Lux mat in here which is extra wide rather than the regular version and um, it fills it nicely I'll inflate that in a moment uh, you've also got pockets either side which is lovely you've got a hanger for a lamp as well and of course you've got this little porch area as well so you can stuff gear into the corners there um, cook in this area in the morning if you want um, yeah I'm still playing around with this Flextail Gear Zero pump at the moment which there will be a review on as well and that should be that side So this is my Topo Lux um, Firmarest mat. This mat is bigger than most. It's um, the wide version for a start. It's longer than most, and it is a good 10 centimeters uh, fat. Um, it fits in there quite snugly. There's a little bit of space down the sides, and a tiny bit at the ends. You can easily use the pocket still. You can stuff your head torch, your water bottle, whatever you want in here. Anything else will go in the vestibule area of the tent as well. Now, if I get inside there, I can quite comfortably sit up. It's uh, a couple of inches free up there. I'm uh, 5'10", about roughly. <laughs> um, and yeah, I can sit up and I'm on this big mat as well. Uh, so you've got plenty of room. Uh, this is dangling a little bit. I think that's slightly due to my pitch, but it will dangle a little bit, whatever. I've got a few specs on the sheet right here. It says pitches in just 10 minutes. I'd agree with that. Maybe even quicker if we can put it down with the inner inside as well, which I don't see why you can't. Uh, the weight is 1.9 kilograms. So that puts it lightweight, not ultra lightweight, but um, you have got an inner um, vestibule. It's a good tent for that. Um, pack size is 41 by 14 by 14 centimeters. And you can get it in um, olive and green. I think the olive is kind of a brownie sort of color. I'm not really sure. It's not like normal olive green. Um, but uh, I've only seen the green model with my own eyes. You can get their, what do they call it? OEX Expedition tarp. And that kind of goes over the top and gives you an extra porch area. I'm assuming that's quite a lightweight one because it's not like a big three by three. I um, may look into getting one to use with it. But on the subject of cover, I have used this in horrendous rain and that rain went on all night, uh, held up perfectly. Um, I've been with Mark when he's used his in a thunderstorm that went on also all night and that was even worse. Um, he's used his loads and held up brilliantly. Um, so it's a 5000 millimeter hydrostatic head um, for whatever that's worth. It's waterproof. <laughs> uh, don't trust anything written down, I just trust it when I use it. And um, yeah, I trust this tent. Here's a side view of that kind of porch. It's not massive, I think it could be a bit bigger to be honest. Uh, but if you just open it up for ventilation while it's raining, it's absolutely fine. Depending on the angle of the rain, you might get cover um, when you're in the vestibule cooking and stuff as well. But um, of course, like I said, you can put that tarp on there as well. This is me laying down in the tent. I have to squat down so you can see me. Um, but uh, just enough room, really. I wouldn't say it's roomy. I wouldn't say it's cramped. It's kind of perfect. And if you wanted to, you can sit up, um, do whatever you need to in here, um, get changed, whatever. Um, yeah. Like I said, I bought this for about £50. Um, it's often available for around 60 At that price, it's an absolute bargain. At £100, it's probably still worth it, to be honest. It's a great little tent. Um, like I said, Mark's used his when we've done like 150 miles on the South Downs Way, plus extra. Um, so just riding with it, backpacking with it. Um, really like this tent. Uh, only thing left to do now, really, is take it down with that inner in, see how it packs away. Because uh, I'm really curious and that would just make it even easier to uh, put up. So 
So there it is, all packed away with the inner, and I probably could have done a better job, but it definitely would pack down even further if I took more time. Um, like I said, great little tent. Uh, it's waterproof, it's pretty light, uh, lighter than most of the other lightweight tents, just not as lightweight as a uh, ultra lightweight. Uh, quick to put up, easy to uh, pack. Yeah, it's got my thumbs up. <laughs> um, I'll link if I can find a good deal at the moment on them down below. I think Black's had a good deal. Um, otherwise, I'll just put down the OEX um, Go Outdoors one. They price match anyway. Um, hope you found that informative. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye for now.